in our business when we first started back in 2019. Can you stop telling the people when we started? I'm sure they know by now. No. Okay. <laughs> that sounds good. Anyway. <laughs> Welcome back to NEMT Van Talks. My name is Jasmine. And I'm Monica. And today we're going to talk about how we um, did our marketing when we first started our business. Um, the first thing that we did was um, we decided to hang uh, door hangers um, within our service area. Um, we enlisted our family and friends to assist us with going out just to canvas the area and to hang door hangers. Mm -hmm. um, that was a lot of work. Yeah. I think initially when we started that process, we didn't realize like how much effort, how much work we had to put into doing that. It was a lot of work. A lot of work. Yeah. Jasmine, do you think that was a good idea at the time? Do you think it was a success? I think we were just, we didn't know what to do or how to do it or how to create brand awareness for our business and let people know that we were in mm -hmm. the community. So. I mean, it was either the door hangers or um, send out mailers. And I just thought door hangers like would be like the best thing for us to do. But will we do it again? We wouldn't do it again. No. But I have to say that um, we were able to dialogue with uh, members of our community. They yep. would ask like, okay, what is your company about? Um, mm -hmm. You know, and then they would ask questions about our services. So being able to engage with the community like that right. was very beneficial. However, I don't believe we received not one client no. um, from hanging those door hangers around. So, no, but I think it was a good learning experience for us. It was a great opportunity, um, like you said, just to network with you know people within our community. Um, so overall, I think it was great. Yeah. Um, so then um, after that, what we started to do was um, canvassing when we finally decided, okay, mm -hmm. we're comfortable enough to start going to nursing homes, rehabilitation centers, um, and hospitals. So today I'm going to be out in the field passing out MJ Reliable Transportation brochures and MJ Reliable Transportation ink pens. Ink pens are wonderful trinkets to pass out in facilities and hospitals because they float around um, the facilities. So let's go. Gotta make sure we mask up. So we went ahead and created marketing material. We have flyers, brochures, business cards, water bottle, uh, peel box, um, what else? And pens, pens. ink pens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so when we would go out to different facilities, nursing home, hospitals, we would leave our business cards, um, a brochure, um, a couple of ink pens. Um, those are just really good tools that can float around the office and can generate, you know, calls um, just by handing out that material. So I think that was good as well. Yeah. Yeah. I think, um, especially the ink pens, because. Yeah. You always need an ink pen. You're always looking for something to write, mm -hmm. especially like in big, large facility facilities like that. Um, I think that that was a good marketing tool. So definitely, if you are thinking of creative ways to get your name out there, go mm -hmm. grab some ink pens. Make sure you have your company logo yep. and the phone number on it. Even a website would be great. Um, also, another way um, that we um, Another way that we marketed our company was branding our vehicle. Oh. Um, our vehicles were professionally wrapped, or they are professionally wrapped. Um, we have the list of services that we offer on the vehicle, mm -hmm. company logo, website, and phone number. Um, we have information on both sides of the vehicle and also in the rear of the vehicle. Yes. Um, quite naturally, we, we drive around all day. so. Um, I have to say like that is good our, our vehicle wrap it was well worth it because yep. we get calls all the, time all the time from people saying that I've seen your driver I've seen your vehicle mm -hmm. um, out and about and I need services for my mom or my dad yeah yeah those are really good points my I actually forgot about the vehicle us wrapping uh, the vans but mm -hmm. yeah absolutely that was a really good marketing tool and um, then uh, make sure you have a, a website yeah. um, in this business you want professionalism is everything mm -hmm. so if you want to build a reputation for your company um, 
where you can actually go out and get some of those large contracts with hospitals and health plans. Uh, you want to make sure that you have a professional looking um, website yeah that people can you know always go to and just kind of reference and browse around because mm -hmm. that's also important as well yeah and as you guys can tell Jasmine is uh, the marketing person for for our business um, and a lot of good things that she just mentioned and maybe we forgot to mention as well the purpose of creating a Google profile a Yelp profile mm -hmm. um, where you know your customers can leave reviews um, that's always good as well yeah after um, after all of our trips, yeah, we send our customers an email just asking them, mm -hmm. uh, well, thanking them for um, choosing us, mm -hmm. um, and also um, we send a link for them to leave a review on our company. Yeah, we want to hear, uh, we want to hear their in input, whether good or bad. So we definitely send that to them, and um, those those reviews will help you a, mm -hmm. a lot. Um, on Google so you definitely want to make sure that your customers are leaving that feedback on some type of platform right, whether yeah. it's Google or Yelp mm -hmm. and just to go back to to add you know we created our um, brochures and um, all of that stuff the business card using Canva again Jasmine is the go-to person when it comes to um, designing um, our brochures and our you know marketing tools so we can we do also offer a um, coaching class yeah so we All offer <laughs> uh, we offer a one-on-one -on -one, um, Canva training mm -hmm. um, so if you need help in um, creating material uh, whether it's brochures flyers business cards whatever the case may be um, we do have a one-on-one -on -one class where we can yep. go ahead and teach you how to um, put that material together mm -hmm. also um, if you're looking to send email blasts um, to maybe you have a list of contacts already yeah. and you want to send them emails just making them aware of or keeping them updated of changes um, within your business mm -hmm. um, I can also teach you how to um, create these emails using um, using Canva and MailChimp so the link will be below if you yeah. want to schedule a one-on-one -on -one class that's something that um, we are offering so mm -hmm. definitely take advantage of that um, I think we covered everything. You know what? I do want to mention too. We have not did any pay ads or oh, anything for yes, our business. Yes. Um, that's important for us to mention because a lot of people think, you know, I have to invest all this money into these pay mm -hmm. ads for my business to be successful. Could our business be more successful if we did invest in that? Probably, Probably so. Yeah. But we're in a good place right now. Um, our business is generating well over six figures. So. Um, we just don't feel like it's necessary right now. Right, right. Um, all of our marketing material we have done ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a lot of work. Yes, it's time consuming. But we are very hands on with our business. Mm -hmm. And um, we, we just want to keep it that way. And doing it that way has worked for us. And so mm -hmm. I don't think we're looking to change anything. At yeah, this time. not yeah. right now. Everything no. is everything is good. And, mm -hmm. and uh, everything's going good. So, um, if there's any questions or anything you guys have, yes. drop them below. Mm -hmm. um, we'll certainly respond as soon as we are able to. Um, also, if you're interested in the one-on-one -on -one Canva training class, mm -hmm. uh, like I said, links below. Be sure to follow us on Instagram. Um, we'll insert the link uh, right here. <laughs> and um, also, you know, we just we wish you guys well if you're looking yes. to start your NEMT business um, definitely jump in and do what you got to do to get it done marketing um, is is key it's to key. success yes um, in this industry but as long as you're able to do the work and get out there and really like mm -hmm. hustle for your business and promote your business you do well you do well yeah absolutely we wish you guys well and we wish you much, much success. Thank you. Ciao. Until next time.